today i'm going to show you how to create facebook ads in kenya step by step to the point i mean to the time you now start making some money so in the uh, along the way i'll be giving you some tips on what to do for example uh, how to make sure that the person seeing your ad is the person you intended to you know or uh, every time we create ads we have someone in mind so i'll show you how to make sure that that's the exact person seeing your ad so uh without further ado boom let's get right to it so to get started uh type directly to your browser um facebook.com forward slash ads manager uh, it will bring you there to where you can create the ad to where you can add you can start so i know sometimes you you you're, you're worrying you're, you're wondering what's the difference between uh creating an ad and boosting so boosting you can think of it as the shortcut or the shortest way of uh advertising so to boost a post uh you need you need you need a page uh currently i i don't think i have any so you just need a page you post and when you post something you'll find a boost button right um to your right corner so just click on it and it's it's the shortest way to 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 to, to advertise on facebook but it's not actually the recommended one because of uh, so very many things number one posting a post doesn't actually give you all the tools you need to create an effective ad for example the targeting options are limited you only choose uh, some few options interests mostly and behaviors but then you cannot use um, a technique known as um, and also rule that's what i'm going to show you here so let me show you around so to create an ad you can come here and just click on create so once you have some ads running this is where this is your dashboard right so you'll be seeing most of the data right here once your ad is running then if you have more than one ad account you can switch it right here just click here and then you will see some options here which make you which brings me to the first point make sure you you are using the right ad account because in the end you'll have to place an order and if the ad account you've been using doesn't have a payment method uh you're gonna have a problem if you click right here on all tools you can get here yeah, the ads manager that's where we are page posts this is where you can create posts directly through ads manager and then add account settings this is where you'll find the settings of that ad account you're using the billing this is where you can add or remove the payment method now uh, i'll just uh, uh, do an over a quick overview after this video and then um then we have the audiences and then the business settings so this uh that's just a quick overview of what you can find um you can mostly find what you're looking for uh when you click this now so uh, let's get right to what brought you here so just click create the first thing when creating a facebook ad in kenya is choosing the objective so objective is what you're trying to achieve with your ad so there are there there, there, there are very many there are very many objectives someone might just be trying to get more likes uh, to their page or to drive awareness something like that or to drive sales depending on your objective you choose uh, respectively here for example if you're just trying to drive brand awareness uh you can use brand awareness right here reach means that uh you're showing your ad to the maximum number of people per day so what happens is when you create a facebook ad uh, a person a single person might see the same ad uh more than one time right that's it, it is to be known as frequency so but when you choose the reach it means the facebook will optimize your ad to reach 
as many people as possible so this one is used for brand awareness and such stuff so i'd recommend it if you are if you have a new product and you want to build an audience or you want to reach more people use the awareness section now um if you want if you want to drive traffic to your website or an app use the traffic uh, objective engagement is if you want to get more likes more pages uh, more um, comments and shares use the engagement app installed that's self-explanatory if you have an app and you do wish to gain more app installs use this one uh, I've seen uh, Gigi using this one mostly because uh, and they combine it with Curacel. I'll, I'll show you what that means later on. Video views. So if you have a uh, YouTube video, you are trying to not even is a YouTube video, but if you have a video uh, that you want to uh, to get more views to it, uh, use this objective here. But there's another strategy that you can combine video views and retargeting where uh you retarget so every time someone watches 30 percent or say the first 30 seconds of your video they see a different ad so you uh, there's something as we'll introduce later on then leads generation so if for example you're a real estate agent or uh, you can generate leads directly where uh, someone is taken to a form where they fill their name uh the phone number and maybe answer some few questions so that's the lead generation messages uh that's if you want to get a message directly to your messenger to your whatsapp and to instagram so uh just to remind you that whatsapp instagram around by facebook that's why it's possible to to create ads directly then conversions these are a little bit advanced uh for example conversions uh is where you create an ad uh, that will be shown to people who are more likely uh, most likely to take valuable actions such as making a purchase or adding payment info on your website app or may or in messenger so this for the it's it it, it takes uh i mean you cannot wake up today and just create conversions you know it there are some technicalities that cause to it and i'll create a, a specific video uh so make sure you subscribe to this channel catalog uh, sales um i'm sure you've you've visited a website uh, i've seen web, uh Jumia doing this mostly where you go to their website you browse some products and the moment you go back to facebook you will see an advert from the company and the images are the products you are browsing so they are using these uh, catalog sales i'll create also a, uh, a, a dedicated video that's specifically for those running e-commerce e video in fact matter of fact um if you are an e-commerce owner or if you own an, an online uh, store please let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a video showing you how to utilize this then store traffic so this is where you are telling facebook to show your ad to people most likely to visit your physical stores when they are near them so if you have a physical store say in nairobi you can you can use this one uh, to encourage people to visit this one is for driving food traffic for this tutorial uh, we are going to go with engagement now engagement are uh, that there are um, uh, as we mentioned there are three types of engagement there is the post engagement that's where you get more likes more shares and more comments that's post engagement page likes if you have a brand new uh, page and you want to get more likes use this one if you have an event you can use this one to uh, to encourage people mm, to to attend your event create an event on facebook that is uh, not the offline events so for this tutorial we're going to go, go with uh, page likes so you click page likes and then you give a name to your campaign uh, everything although you don't have to worry about this now because you can still do it later on but just to make it quick uh, I'm going to give a name to this uh, let's say um, Kevin uh, King add okay uh, let's call it page likes so make sure you give it something uh, you will remember uh, the ad set as well 
and then this one is kevin king um let's call it page likes add right then once you're done click continue now we are inside the campaign um under the campaign section so what happens is you can create a template um that will help you to create to use the name the same uh, formula of of naming your ads consistently the reason for this is um after some time you'll find yourself having more ads over over 20 ads and without a, a, a really sound uh, naming system you will be overwhelmed uh, when it comes to report uh, reading reports and such stuff now uh, the next thing is uh, when creating facebook ad in kenya is choosing the category i mean the, yeah the categories so what happens is uh, there are different categories so if you are creating an there is the normal ads that's for promoting products then there is the one for social issues elections or politics so if you are creating um, an ad that falls uh to either of three either of these three that's the social issues elections or politics you have to declare it right here so you come and tick this box but if you are not creating for any of this just leave it as it is just leave everything as it is here uh, also here epi testing is when you're trying to understand what works best for example you can uh, you can create uh the same ads the same type of ads with everything the same but then you tweak only one thing for example you change the images then you run the ads con concurrently then later on say after two days you come on now uh way which one of them did well then there is budget um campaign budget optimization so campaign budget optimization will distribute your budget across ad sets get more results depending on your delivery optimization choices and bit strategy you can have more than one ad set under one campaign right then you can have more than one ad under one ad set so you can turn that on if you intend to have more than one ad set also give your ad set a name then you choose the page right here the next thing is uh, choosing the budget so there are two types of budget there's daily there's the daily one and then there's lifetime so for example if you're running an ad for say 10 days right and you have thousand shillings for the entire campaign your lifetime budget is a thousand right and then your daily budget is what you spend daily so what you spend daily that's 100 shillings okay so get the different and use either of them but mostly i use the daily budget because uh, at the end of the day i need to know how much uh, i've spent on the ads so you can go as long as as low as 100 shillings but better results stick to 200 shillings the next thing is the schedule so um the schedule actually is about choosing your to run your ads continuously starting today or during a specific date so if you want your to if you don't want your ad to start running like almost immediately uh it's accepted you can use the schedule so for example i can schedule it to go uh, the next day right or start from three days from now and such stuff also you can set the end end date for example if i want this facebook ad to run for 10 days it'll just come here and set the end date the next the most important part when running facebook ads in kenya that's choosing the audience there is so much uh, stuff we can talk about right here but uh, let me show you how to, to get started quickly so you choose the location obviously yeah uh, that's kenya but uh there's a there's something else for example i can choose to target specific town i can choose to say target only nakuru I can only target exactly nakuru town and then specify so for example this the use case of this is if i'm selling something that i don't you know i don't want to incur shipping costs i can only sell within my city so I can choose right here uh, and then uh, so you choose the city right there then you 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 now input the the radius so anyone within this for uh, within 40 kilometers 
uh, of Nakuru will see my advert. So you can increase that as you like or decrease as you want. So for now, um, let's leave it with what was already there assuming uh, you'll be selling to everyone in Kenya. Next is choosing the edge. So yeah, just make sure you know uh, the edge bracket of your customer. So for example, if I'm selling shoes, I should be able to determine the exact edge bracket that my customer falls under. Then you choose right here. The gender also, uh, what are you selling? Is it for men? Is it for women? Or is it for both? Now, the detailed targeting. What happens here is now you now come exactly, you know, you come now to say, this is who I want to see my ad. So depending uh, on your target customer, this is what you need to do. So you have three options. You can categorize your target. You can identify, sorry, your audience, your audience based on these three, the demographics, interests, and behaviors. So demographics involves things like education, employment, uh, whether they are employed. Education means uh, high school, university, and such stuff. And then there's also the lifestyle. Interests cover things like what they like, you know, do they like sports? Do they like poems? Do they like shoes, running shoes? Do they like specific uh, TV stations? Even the public figures, for example, you can only target your ads to people who like, say, Daily Nation, who like uh, to comedia, you know, such stuff. Then behavior is where um, you reach uh, people based on purchase behavior or intent, uh, the device usage and more. So for example, you can target your ads to people using only Android phones or using only Samsung, uh, Samsung phones such that you can find that under behaviors. Also, uh, you can find, you, you can target your ads to people who have bought something in the past, right? There's something special here. For example, if you are a gift shop, you can uh, create a Facebook ad targeting people with their birthdays coming up. So what you need to do is just go to demographics, come to date birth, date of birth, and then month of, or just use this one, their upcoming birthday. Your ad will be shown to people with their birthdays coming up. I know I rushed, uh, but um, I'll leave a link now in the description below to an article I wrote on explaining in detail everything here um, alternatively you can search instead of browsing so for example uh, i want to show my ad to people who like uh, football so you can just come and search football right here and then you see here interest right uh, once you've picked uh, say one interest you can come here uh, so mostly there are, there are some suggestions so they give you more suggestions of the same some people will tell you now you are okay here well yeah you are like 50 percent okay now what happens is yeah my ad will be shown to people with any of this so they can either be liking chelsea or or football what happens if i want to show my ad to people who who like football and must also like chelsea which means they must possess these two things when that happens, you need to use the narrow audience. So I will narrow down. So they should like football and must also uh, like Chelsea. I want you to note something. The, 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 the audience for now is for 4.9 million, right? That's 4.9 million Kenyans who like football. But the moment I add uh, those who like football and also like Chelsea, uh, I want you to watch something. the number drops to 720,000 people. So this is simple. What happens here is that there are very many people who like football, inclusive of those who like Manchester United, those who like Everton, those who like Tottenham, Manchester City and likes and such stuff. So when you when you choose for example a single interest, you're targeting uh, almost everyone but then the moment you've added another layer using the the the, the and also rule 
uh, you now narrowing down to specific person right so you as you can see by the numbers it dropped to 720,000 so uh, for now I can create a really good ad that I'm sure uh, Chelsea fans will laugh because I'm making sure that it's them right something else you can still go further here for example say uh, they like football uh, they must also like chelsea fc and then they must like also shopping online so if i'm selling for example chelsea chelsea's this is very easy for me to do because these people like football and they like chelsea and then also they must like uh, online shopping so this one person uh, so there are 520,000 people who like a football also like chelsea and also like online shopping so that's how you create a really targeted ad so and then you can still go you can, you can use this rule to exclude people for example uh, say we don't want anyone using android phone <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> see so the number now dropped from 520 to 320,000. So you can use, you can play around with this and then to nail exactly. So I'll make sure that this ad will be seen by people who like Chelsea and like football and like online shopping and they are not using Android phone. So that's how you can play with that. Now going further, the detailed uh, targeting expansion option here is where um, you're letting Facebook show your ad to more people which may help you uh, reach your optimization goal so what happens here is uh, you're telling Facebook see look here at Facebook um, if you see anyone uh, who might be interested in what I'm selling uh, but then I haven't included in my targeting please show my ad so that's what you're saying right there but you can you can then it on that you can leave it as it is then when it comes to connections uh, there are very many um, you can say people who currently follow your page uh, people similar to those who currently like or follow your page exclude people who uh, who currently like or follow your page this is a really good tactic here where for example you are running now that i'm running a campaign for my page likes assuming i already have say a thousand likes uh it would be waste of my shillings to show those who have, who have already liked my page the advert right so you can come here and say exclude those who have already liked my page once you've done that the next thing is the placement so the placements is simply where your ad will be shown so there are two ways there's the automatic one uh, that is where the facebook uh, will determine where to show your ad for you and then there's the manual where you determine it to yourself right for example you can only say that uh, i want my ad to be shown on facebook only uh not on instagram or not on such or the opposite i want my ad to only run on instagram or i want my ad to only run on messenger so whichever you want so you use the manual if you want to choose but if you want to leave i mean if you want uh, uh, facebook to determine it for you use the automatic so, actually i recommend the automatic one because Facebook understand their platforms well and also leaving it in automatic means that you're letting Facebook uh, do their thing and optimize your ad for uh, for results. Now uh, talking of optimization for results, there is optimization and a delivery. So optimization for your ad delivery is where you choose the event you want to optimize for in your ad set. Uh, your selection affects who sees your ads to get your desired outcome for example if you've, for now we've chosen the uh, page like so what happens here is facebook will show your ad to people who are more likely to like the page right if you've chosen uh the the the, the, the traffic facebook will show your ad to people who are more likely to click that link then there is the cost control so cost control is for example if i want one shilling per like i can decide it here i can say facebook i don't want anything above one shilling then that's what uh, this cost control will work here then once you're done click on next 
okay then we already have the page the next thing is now the ad creative right this is now where the your ad your facebook ad in kenya comes together so here you have the image and then the copy and then the call to action number one pick a really good image so the media right here um no so i had i had my picture <laughs> Sorry about that. So you can uh, edit the media and turn an image into video using this button right here. So let's change that. So once you're here, uh, you can upload. Uh, so hopefully you've created an ad already. Now I've uploaded the image. So let's click continue. And there you go that is the image so make sure the image uh, doesn't con more text it should at least contain maybe one sentence of, of text such stuff so there is the 20% uh, rule uh, meaning that if you are if you are if you are using an image that contains more text your ad won't reach more people so uh, keep uh, an eye for that uh, once you've uh, picked an image and make sure it's also something that's attractive uh preferably the product image that you're selling and there are some also guidelines on what image to use and which or not to be sure to check the link below uh in the, in the description sorry uh where i link to where facebook uh stipulates the policies that govern uh, the type of um, images that you can use in your ads the next thing once you've chosen the image is now the primary text so the primary text is what people now will read for example if you're selling something here is where now you convince someone that they should click your ad and buy or they should click your ad uh, to to fill a form they should click your ad to visit a website you get the you get the idea so this is the copy now this is where the your ad comes together and depending on uh, what you do here you can make or break your ad so i have a simple formula for you um, where you need to write an ad so the formula is called aida so actually this is nothing new so aida is um is an old copywriting formula but still applicable today it's simple and it's something that can work for you as well so uh it means that you need to capture someone's attention once you've captured their attention you need to arouse their interest you need to pick the interest you need to make them want to read more then the next thing is now you need to arouse their desire you need to make them want what you're selling or offering and then lastly you need to make them now click for example you can create something uh, an headline that says hey uh let me create it life anyway um hey are you an uh are you a chelsea chelsea fan we have an offer for you get a chelsea how do you write chelsea <laughs> sorry english is optional surely how uh, get a chassis now uh, for free uh, now free for fast seven people who click um you click the link below Now, uh, this is actually this uh, just came up with this on the fly. <laughs> yeah, so it should be something better than this, of course. Uh, you know, you know better. You know how to write better. So don't worry about my typos. So you can do better than this. I'm sure you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can shows you how you can use this formula well. So. Uh, so here you capture their attention uh, by calling out uh, wh whoever they are of course if they are chelsea fans they will actually stop and read that like yeah yeah that's me uh, what do you have to say so that's i've uh, captured their attention 
then now i have their interest right here then there is the desire you see the first seven people that uh, create that desire to not to be left out then there is now um the the, the nudge to act the remaining thing is now to put the the call to action now that i was running a page like uh, campaign there won't be uh, that possibility of uh, adding the call to action but if uh, i wasn't running that if, if i was running sales for example i would click uh, i would use a pattern saying buy now now when it comes to tracking uh, now up to this point your ad should be ready uh, you should be ready and you can preview uh, how your ad will look like so uh, you can see the options um, right here you can send the notification to your facebook uh to your uh, through facebook to your phone or you can share the link with your friends so they can see um how the ad will look like of course you can see how it will look like right here so uh, let's see uh, expand right so this is how the ad will look like in the end uh, once it's it's live okay yeah so that is it the next thing uh, maybe that i can talk about i can touch on is the tracking so uh, tracking is all about conversions right so if i wanted to track um if i was running a campaign for example for website clicks or driving traffic to my website i could track that and see actually how many people actually ended up in my website uh, and made sales using the track so we have the website events we have the app events and then the offline events so uh, this is where you 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 can set it up using the facebook pixel so um, on my next tutorial i will show you how to set it up uh, once you're done uh, once you're here you can just click publish now uh, because your ad is ready you're ready to go once you're there so you just click a uh, you just click publish so for me as you can see there is no payment method add a valid method to your account you're ready to go once you're there so you just click uh you just click publish so for me as you can see there is no payment method add a valid method to your account if you don't have a payment method you won't run the ad uh, the ad won't run so this is how to add uh, a payment method so come here to all tools then click on billing then once you're here you click on payment settings then you click on add payment so uh fortunately nowadays facebook accepts uh direct mpesa which is a good thing which is a plus for us by the way uh, and then uh you can do so you choose the local current location and currency uh, so because you are in Kenya, make sure it's in Kenya, right? If you are not, if it's not in Kenya, if, if you're seeing your currency simple is in dollars, you need to change that because it it becomes a little bit harder to track your your reportings if you are using uh, dollars. So make sure it's in shillings. So since we are in Kenya, uh, we choose shillings and then you click save. As you can see now, there is the M-Pesa, so you can. Uh, you can either use the debit card which is the atm or credit card if you have one and then uh or the mpesa so we use the mpesa then you click next um when you click next you you will need to input your your phone number so you input the amount to add then you click next so what happens is facebook has partnered with uh, flutterwave so flutterwave is the processor here then you input your phone number here then you click pay when you click pay a pop-up will come to your phone asking you to confirm the transaction uh please note that the transactions uh the payments are non-revandable so so you cannot send say a thousand shillings to facebook and then expect it to come back now what happens is once your payment is successful it will show up here right it will show up right here that is how to add uh payments to your uh, to for your facebook ad account using mpesa something else is the account spending limit so you can set um how much you want to spend on that account for example you can set that anytime you reach say five thousand shillings that 
ads should stop yeah it's really good if you are using for example uh, a card if you are using your your atm card and you don't want to overspend so it's a it's a good practice make sure you use that so guys um that's right about it uh thank you for joining me today in this tutorial on how to create facebook ads if anything is unclear or if you want anything any clarifications please um leave a comment below and please this uh i'm asking you please subscribe and give this video a, a thumbs up and also please check our website we have very many guides there we have uh, business ideas we have free strategies we have tactics we have tools we have everything so please visit our website uh, everything is in the description below till next time see you